this is where we resealed and along this edge too. Um, here you can see the mirrors, they adjust uh, using those, getting in the cab, go ahead and start it. not buzzing it's just because the door is open okay so here's the outside so this key here's how you fill your water just put a hose in this is the propane um so i'll go ahead and open that up so we can light the stove um this one the key is a little, they have all these covers, so the key is a little sticky. There we go. So, just some storage over there. Uh, here is your shoreline so you can just go ahead and 
plug that in. Uh, this is a vent area for the fridge on the inside. Um, down here, we've got our wastewater. So you can use this, open that, and then well, open this to go through there. Or this, you can see, opens that. That's the black water system. And this is the gray water system. Uh, you can also see, just put that cap back on. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, you can see the new exhaust in there. That's the exhaust pipe. And then, uh, you can see the muffler up there. Um, let's see here. Those are the, here are the leaf springs. Those are the new shocks, super shiny. Uh, here's the spare tire. Uh, you can drop it down with that. Um, more of the water tanks. Uh, all right, this is the rear of the vehicle. Uh, so you can see it does have a dent there, and a little dent in the um, bumper. Here's the hitch, and I've never tried to plug this in, but it's there. Uh, here's some more storage. This one's sticky, but we would keep firewood in there. Um, and then this is the hot water system. Like I said, we didn't normally use it but we have turned it on before it works. We haven't turned it on recently. Here are some exterior plugs. Um, let's see here, here's the wheel. So you can see the dually right there and those are pretty fresh tires. Uh, this also needs a key. Oops. fueling. It gets about 10 to 15 miles to the gallon, depending on uh, how much wind there is. Uh, it has this door with sort of the privacy window and then also a screen door. So you can close that. So the screen door, but the screen door also opens sticks with the door. So the whole thing used to be carpeted. <laughs> we left this carpet um, as like a doormat, essentially, uh, and then replaced sort of the threshold with wood. This is what was under the carpet. It is sort of just a plywood, and this is blackboard paint. So if you want to write with chalk on it, you can. Uh, I'll just do a, here's the bed over the cab, can sort of tuck in the sheets, but this is, um, this is that removable board right there. We just have it under a, a bottom sheet, a fitted sheet. And then you have the dinette, and that's just a extra blanket, and the kitchenette, and then the bathroom. So, uh, bedroom windows, or bedroom, bed. So these slide and 
screen is intact. You have your two front windows. And then this also slides with the screen. You have a light, a carbon monoxide alarm. This is the roof vent that works. Oops. So you can see it just cranks up there. <clears throat> Um, then, so here's looking out the door, um, we just kept a little broom in here, here a, little, a couple hooks, and this is the charge controller, so this is showing you what's charging right now off the solar panel, um, what the battery's at. And then if you had a load, which would be on these two USBs, that's what that third number is. A uh, couple outlets for when you're plugged into shore power. The uh, solar panel is not big enough to run the outlets off of. Um, so here's the floor. And yeah, with little uh, baseboard. Let's see here. I think this one cracked, so it just needs a finishing nail. The... I ran out of the maple, so this is pine, but it worked out, so it's just the part <laughs> under the dinette. These both are reversible. Uh, let's see here. You can see seat belts under there and um, some of the componentry. This is the window shade that the string broke. So you can see we're just holding it up with a clipped paper clip. But if you take that off, it does come down. Uh, here's a light. We went with a warm light for the bed and the dining table. And then these overhead lights, you can turn on one or both are brighter. Uh, removable cup holders here. There's just a... So to convert this into a bed, it'll just come under here and uh, pull that out. So now that bends, and then this sort of lifts up out of a hook over there. And pivots down. And you just have to remove these cushions. So it can slide in there. And then you know, the cushions form the bed. That's sort of a rough job of it, but it's a big bed, relatively. There you go. Um, let's see your fire extinguisher back there. And uh, Jack. Jack and the lug wrench. Uh, here are cupboards. So this one doesn't stay all the way open, but most of them do like that. So lots of space above here. Uh, we just have a few things if you want. This is a a cookie sheet that works for the miniature oven, which you're welcome to have. And then we put some additional separators in there. Uh, let's see, here's the last one. Um, here's the kitchen. So down here, more storage. And you can see sort of some of the piping that's coming out of the sinks. 
and then some tubs uh, and there's also this which is the hot water tank okay so here's the kitchen so here's a window this blind does work you just pull it down uh, and then both this window and the big one over the dinette have sliders. Uh, here's the sink. Uh, two pretty, pretty good sized basins. Um, so over here, if you do levels test, you can see battery condition almost full, like low-ish on gas uh, or propane about half full of water and then these are the holding tanks the gray water and the black water holding tanks so we'll turn on the water pump you can hear that going and let's see we're getting water out and then we can also turn on the shower while we have the water pump going. So I'm just gonna put that down there. And this also was resealed um, and around the base here. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. As for the burners, so you can see they're labeled up here, and we'll go ahead. One thing that we've noticed is if the car hasn't been used recently, it can take a little while to light. Like you just have to open the burner and wait for like, I don't know, 10 seconds. So. Let's just light them all up. There we go. And they're pretty adjustable. So if you want to simmer something. Okay, turning those off. And then we'll turn on the oven here. And the pilot light is in there. That is awesome, the oven. It is great to make some pizza or enchiladas or brownies, whatever it is, so. And then when you're done, you'll just rotate it to off. Oh, and then I should have said, so here's the hood light. It's not very strong, but there are these two lights and these are all LEDs. And then the hood fan is kind of awful. Um, but this has been cleaned recently. And then this is just a tile backsplash. Um, so you can see, let's see here. There are a couple places where the grout has come off a little, but for the most part, like, you know, these are on really sturdy. And then we just had like a little crock velcroed in the corner here to put spatulas and stuff like that, but you could take these off. So then the fridge. Um, we usually brought this with us because sometimes there you couldn't fill from a hose. So it was nice if there was a spigot to be able to have another option and kind of keeps the fridge wedged in place. So here's the fridge. It's not, I mean, it works. <clears throat> it's not like one of those really fancy Dometics. Um, so lighting it, 
can take a couple tries, but basically you hold this down to release some fuel for like, I don't know, 10 seconds. And press that until this needle starts going up. Um, so this is usually goes faster if you've had one of the burners um, running. There we go. Um, <clears throat> once it goes into green, then it's fully lit. Uh, and you can let go of the gas. And it has to be pretty level uh, to get cold. So uh, here's the cold adjuster. I'm not really sure how um, precise it is. Yeah, and I already opened it up. So then we have this little shelf. It just has a latch like that. And we can push it back. Ow. Oof. And you can see here's all the stuff. Uh, so it vents to the outside like it should. It has the appropriate clearance. Uh, this gets hot. And then down here, is the switch if you want to turn it over to uh, DC power. It can definitely, you wouldn't want to run it overnight on the solar panel. Um, it'll drain it. Okay, here's the bathroom. So you can unclip this. It's actually a pretty sweet little door. And then slide it back to open it. So here's the threshold. This threshold is broken. Um, this, it, it cracked. <laughs> so the threshold would probably need to be fixed. Um, but the tile is also cracking a little bit. So you can see that grout is cracked. Um, this tile has come loose. And then especially this corner, the grout is cracking. So this just might be something that the next owner decides they want to fix uh, or not. Here's the toilet. Um, pretty simple. This is the flush lever. Um, it's bolted in on that side and that side. Um, this is the cutting board we have. We haven't screwed it in because we did want it to be removable. So you can lift it up and see that if you really wanted a sink, you could install it. This is the faucet. We just left the, so this is capped here. Um, but we left the lines. Uh, and then there's where the basin would drain into. You can just reinstall it with a couple parts. Oops. And these are silicone stickies. So they keep the cutting board from shifting while we're traveling, which has worked out well for us. Um, and you can hang a little towel here. There's a paper towel or toilet paper. Um, here's a shower curtain. So you can move these. We would mostly hang wet clothes in here to try. And then also um, like wash our feet, but we were rarely taking a a full shower. So, um, there's that. And you saw this goes here, also attaches here, and then there's a light in the shower. Um, and a drain there. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, so you can also get down here. 
Um, and then if you remove this panel, it'll take you to the plumbing, which is nice to have it easy to get to if there's um, any of that required. So here's a big mirror and then it lifts up as like a nice little medicine cabinet. It latches with one of these. And then this window pulls down um, like that. And then here's a little closet. So it's quite big. Uh, and it has these hanger hooks so that things don't slide around wildly. You can put some shoes down there and what have you. Uh, let's see here. Another light here, so the bathroom light. And here's the fan. So this fan works, but um, this uh, air, this vent doesn't open and then, and neither does this middle one. And I'll show you that for the outside. Okay, so here's where the cords come out. Um, this is sealed and then epoxied against the side. It's not gorgeous, but it works. And then here is the solar panel. So you have your leads coming out of it here and it's flat and flexible. Uh, you can see the front roof vent popped up here. Um, and then these are shut and don't open, but um, yeah, not much to see up here on the roof. Like I said, uh, we've never had any leaks and it's been a really rainy spring and summer. And then I, I didn't show you the side, so we resealed this. There is a little crack here that's all siliconed now around here and up and around and then across the front here too. What I also said I was gonna show is here. So that's where the water damage is. And we just put in um, a new board, essentially. This is just, um, this wood is good, but the, the paper got pulled up. And then nice sturdy plywood there. So it's been working. Uh, and, you know, no new water intrusion since then. So that's the front corner of the, of the bed here.